We're getting up to go painting at 6.15 with a group of, I guess, 10 people in uh, Death Valley. And let's see what the name of the place says we're going. We're going to mile one, mile marker 100, which is called intersection of BD Drive, B-E-A-T-T-Y. And we're going with Natty, Lynn, Meg, Meg, Bob, Barbara, Carrie, Bob, and Alma. We have some of this beautiful scenery here. And hopefully when we get there, the sun up will be hitting the mountain and it'll be spectacular. That's what we're hoping for. Here I'm drawing the with a pen. Uh, the basic format of the lights and darks and shadows, which I'll then put on with a sepia uh, acrylic paint, which I'm putting in the darks right now in sepia, which isn't the real color of the shadows, but I'm going to cover over that when the acrylic, which dries very quickly, is put in. I also put in some yellow and green at the front because this wide valley has a lot of grass in the front. Um, I initially put in sort of a yellow and pinky sky because I have a limited number of acrylic paints, but I'm going to later cover over that sky with blue because I think the blue plays off of the orange of the mountains and the blue of the shadow in the mountains. So now I'm at the stage where I'm putting oil on top of my acrylic underpainting so that I can get a wider spectrum of color and uh, begin to get those values uh, better, better than they were in my original undercoating. So these values have a little more subtlety. And now I'm putting in a quite a dark blue sky because I think this painting plays well against a blue sky. And you'll see that I did a wide section of the mountains, whereas some of the other people did just sort of a limited section. Of the Here you see Ray's uh, value study of a small section of the mountain. Uh, with some very grayish blue tones in the shadows. Um, by doing a wider section with that grass in the front, I thought that, well, first I thought it was more interesting, um, but it lays the groundwork for some of my other paintings that will have much more organization leading into the subject area. You'll see some of the paintings that have sort of an S pattern or a C pattern as a way of um, bringing in uh, the viewer's attention into the into the painting and leading them in. Uh, this was sort of a basic, simple study and value study, um, and I that's the finished product. And it, it, you can see the sky plane against the mountains here. I've been painting full time for probably about two and a half years, and um, wow. the first year I I sold thirty paintings. Last year I sold, oh, I think 48 or something. Um, so um, yeah, they're pretty good. I, a lot of them are off of Facebook. Some of them are because I'm an artist in residence at Buena Ventura Art Association. So, you know, people come by and they buy stuff uh, when they're at the harbor. So that's a good deal. In fact, I just took a job as treasurer of Buena Ventura Art Association, which it turns out is the oldest art association in California. It also is going to be receiving 250 early California paintings from uh, a family trust. And so we're going to be representing the sale of all those paintings. So it's going to be pretty exciting. So that's exciting. Yeah, it should put us on the map. And then it I think it helps, it gives us a halo effect so the artists at the gallery will, who are also plein air artists will have a halo effect because we'll be associated with, with that and we right. just need to promote it properly, you know, so that's the big deal. Okay. And I'm, um, I'm redoing my website, I did it myself, but I hired somebody to do it because I just wasn't getting enough Google search results off of the one I did. Um, so okay. I, I wanted somebody who could really do it and do a good job with it. So I hired him just about a week and a half ago. Okay. 
I'm at a uh, plein air painting thing in Death Valley, and then I'm going to Zion. So it's a lot's going on. So that's amazing. I also have like a coach that's helping me with art. So I set up weekly goals, and then the coach. I think she's fairly happy with my progress. Yeah, that's that, great. And uh, you're you're really in the emergent stage, according to the way I categorize where you are in your business. So your focal point for that would be marketing. But where do you? What is your main goal for the next year? Do you want to sell more paintings, or is it something else? A couple things. I want to sell more paintings, but um, you know, I've gotten so busy. I'm not even applying to as many shows as I used to. So I'm almost thinking of hiring somebody that just applies to shows for me and sets up the scheduling, maybe even for festivals, because I, I have a little a trailer so I can do festivals and shows, and and I can send stuff. Oh, it's um, just O like the letter O, O desk, D -E -S. Yeah, like the letter O and then D E S K dot okay. com. Okay. And there are people who specialize in absolutely everything from web development to design to doing your tasks to creating spreadsheets. Um, and you can hire someone who's actually in the U.S. is educated and know how to, you know, take them on. They work for you and you track their, they're working to track online. Yeah, and, and when, as soon as I get back, I'll, I'll look them up and, and I'll start doing that. Maybe I can even do it here. Is that online or more um, offline, building people, a group of people? Well, you know, I do some of that now online through Facebook because a lot of the paintings I've sold have been through Facebook. But I also do it in person through the studio because people show up and you know, they begin. I guess I get followers both ways because on Facebook, I, I pretty much put up almost a painting a day. And there's a lot of people who look at that. It goes through periods where I'll get 50 or 60 likes, then it will go through periods where I'll get 30 or 40 likes, but that's still a lot of likes per day, so. All right, well, that sounds great. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, it was my pleasure. I'm so glad we connected and um, that I got to see your work. Hi, I hope you liked my video, and I hope you'll come visit me on markhafeman.com. We have lots of exciting content, including my other paintings, watercolors, oils, and there's some gift certificates that you might like, as well as every so often I give away a painting. Hope to see you. markhafeman.com, M-A-R-K-H-A-F-E-M-A-N.com, markhafeman.com. See you there.